<laughs> Welcome. This week, I'm going to show you mind-blowing video of how the voting machines were rigged in Chicago and possibly many other cities. And I realize this is like the third show recently where I've talked about how the primaries are being stolen, but this is the theft of our democracy. It's not like this is the third week I've covered how cucumber water is great for nipple perkiness in men. <laughs> you know? Then you'd be like... Jesus, he's going a bit over with the cucumber. Was he bought off by Big Cucumber? This is terrible. But this week, I have video from the Chicago Board of Elections that brings into question everything we've seen in these primaries. In Illinois, it's mandatory that they recheck 5% of the vote to see if the machines are operating correctly. And people can go and witness this audit. They can watch as... The machines are tested. And you know, Saturday night free, do you go to the UFC fight or voting machine audit? Tough, <laughs> tough call. If you want to get laid, you go to the audit. <laughs> yeah. So here is what those witnesses saw. Essentially, in the audit, they were erasing votes that the electronic voting machine paper record indicated had been cast. So the hand tally showed that uh, Bernie Sanders had gotten 223 votes and that um, Hillary Clinton had gotten 49, 46 less votes. The hand tally showed that. Okay. But to meet the official recommended results, they had to literally erase Bernie Sanders' votes and add Hillary Clinton's. <laughs> That's approximately 70 votes, 70 times about 500 uh, uh, active machines in the field, and there's more that we have uh, documented here, uh, is a lot of votes. What they're describing is election fraud. Person after person walked up to that podium and said the machines got the votes wrong and the auditors covered it up. And I'm sure the Chicago Board of Elections officials and the people at those little tables were horrified at what they heard. Now, that's not really the way we do an audit. I don't think that that's really a credible way of believing that we've got a fair tally. Can I just yeah. uh, ask you, because I, I, are you, uh, have you done audits before, or are, are you just going uh, I participated in other elections. I have not done <coughs> audits okay. before, but because I've been in political science. Okay, because you're... Uh, you were saying that this isn't the way to do an audit, and I don't just didn't know whether you had any experience previously. F you, lady. <laughs> no, no, she's not a trained auditor. But you don't have to be to know the numbers shouldn't be changed to match what the stupid machines say. I'm not a basketball player, but I know when I see a basketball game. Okay. <laughs> If I saw two people rubbing their faces in a bowl of clam chowder and I said, that's not a basketball game, would you respond, are you a professional NBA ref? <laughs> <laughs> then shut up. <laughs> the Board of Elections was just presented with full frontal election fraud and their response was, you don't know. <laughs> I'm not a professional sex worker either, but I know when we're getting I uh, apologize if, because of miscommunications or whatever, there was, you know, some, some difficulty here. And uh, I will see to it, I, and I will make it a point to spend more time during the 5% audit out at the warehouse uh, after the November election to, to make sure that there are any difficulties that are resolved immediately and, and we don't have to go into this. You apologize if there was a miscommunication? Yeah, the miscommunication was that you were just told the election was not legit, and you responded with the same urgency as if you were told your shower isn't draining so well. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll look into that. I'll, I'll put that on a list here and file it under S for shut your fucking face. <laughs> Look, these people, it's not, it's not like their job is to monitor elections and then also to collect the city's garbage and then to deal with the parking meters. They got to deal with the, the... They have one job. They have one job. So when they're told the audit was utter bullshit, their response should be, hold on, all of the machines? God damn it! <laughs> we gotta do this whole election!
election over. <laughs> God. That should be the response, <laughs> not this. There could be a misunderstanding as to how things are required to be conducted. Um, uh, sometimes there are um, issues that, that need to be addressed, and uh, we, we welcome uh, your criticism and your observations. Aw, do you welcome our observations? <laughs> our little observations and whimsical musings like we're Jerry Seinfeld. Have you ever noticed we live in a false democracy with the illusion of choice? What is the deal? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is how corporate tyranny works. It's anonymous and it's bland. It's boring. It looks like a, a dopey guy in an ugly tie going, hmm, that's interesting that we uh, totally rigged these elections. Uh, that, is, that is something I'll look into one day. But now, if you'll excuse me, I have a very boring wife who uh, also dresses only in beige, and we need to go watch VHS tapes of The Price is Right together. <laughs> But this is just Chicago. <laughs> to prove the primary is truly being stolen, you would need to show irregularities throughout several states. And I will do just that. <laughs> but first, I have to, uh, well, start the show. Coming to you from Washington, D.C., the Belly of the Beast. This is Redacted tonight. <laughs>